Today's video is all about the cartel finally losing or taking an L for one. Someone literally just donated Your Act 1 and Act 2 guides got me going in my first on a run. Thank you for your videos, they are not only fun, but very informative and I learned a lot. Well that's the best way to interrupt a recording session right there, hell yeah, thank you so much for the 20! Even though it's from a Baldur's Gate viewer, mwah, I wish my Albion viewers would be as generous. Anyway, let's get back to the video. I'm not re-recording the intro. So, this video is all about how the cartel is getting screwed over for once. Coming on the April 15th update, cartels, shop owners, everyone will no longer be able to list anything above 1,000 silver. So, look at this. Okay, this is an Elder Stonemason building. Uh, the owner is System. Now look, now, what would you know? That's a player named System. That's not the system. This is the actual real system. It's a public access, zero fee, that everyone can use. This is a player that is scamming new players. Now, now look at the culprit here. You, you got it, Missy, M-I-S-S-H-Y, from iFuries. I'll talk more about that in a minute. But if we go to the administration here, you can see that this building has earned 3.7 million silver, and I guarantee you, this guy right here comes to collect constantly. Now, this is not a new player being scammed. This guy is literally in Eye Furies, the number one guild currently in the game. If you go to Season Overview, you look, it's Eye Furies. If you go to this guy's stats, look at his stats. He's killed 12,000 people. He's got 1.1 billion fame. This guy has the experience. He he, he owns the station. He, he, own, he probably owns the station. He probably just collected the money. Let's see if he did. No, he didn't collect the money. But um, <laughs> maybe he has associates discount here. He's, he's doing something. I mean, yeah, he's probably got. A, he he probably owns the station and is using it uh, for crafting. Now sometimes people will set their you know station to nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine so that other players can't or won't or will be discouraged from using it so that they themselves can just use it and it won't be emptied out on food. He also might have just refed it. I'm not sure. He's doing something, but uh, <laughs> so. The cartel is up in arms about this, and they just announced on Twitter an hour ago that the update's going to have this. Everything is going to be nerfed down to a thousand. That means instead of 3.7 million silver, which was scammed off of new players, that station would only have made 370,000. So it's a big hit to the cartels and a big hit to the scams. I'm going to grab some stone here, and we're going to see how 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 much did people lose getting scammed, okay? It looks like I can't refine anything with this. Um, so I'm just gonna buy some sandstone here, and, uh, no, let's just, no, I don't, not, uh, limestone, let's, let's buy some limestone, let's just see how much, okay? And, uh, we'll just buy this stack of, uh, 999 here, I mean, I'm gonna pay 50,000 silver, it's not a big deal. And we're, well, you know what, tier, <laughs> okay, no, sandstone, because tier 2 is free, obviously, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna buy a stack of tier 3, why not, just buy a stack of tier 3, it's fine. And we're going to see how much a, a brand new player would lose in silver using this station. And yes, I am aware that I'm giving a scammer and a bad person some silver, but it's not really anything relevant. It's it's not, If anything, it's going to drain their food usage because these stations don't really like it whenever, you know, they, uh, they lose food. But at the end of the day, too, it is what it is. So we're going to go to the station real quick and uh, doing tier two is not going to drain the food. This is free to do. Doesn't cost me anything, doesn't cost the station anything, it doesn't uh, eat up the crafting capacity, it does not hurt the durability, it does not hurt the food supply. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna refine this real quick so we can see just how much a brand new player would be screwed out of. And then we'll see how much a new player should be paying and why this update is good. Now all the cartel and all of the cartel shills on the forums, on the Reddit, on the Twitter, they're gonna be very against this. They're gonna be very, very against this. And so, um, but I, I have to show you just how much a new player can be screwed over. All right, so we've refined it. Now, let's say I'm a new player and I wanted to refine, you know, one stack of sandstone. It's not even 30 minutes of gathering. Even for a new player, you can probably get this in 30 minutes if you don't know what you're doing and you're not wearing gathering sets or using a pork pie. You can still get a whole stack of these in 30 minutes. And the just the value is worth 32000 So a new player, not knowing any better, right? They're going to take 499 of these, so let's split it up, just to see how much we're losing here. And then 999 of this. So, or 998, so we'll split one, there we go. Alright, so this stack is worth 16,000, this stack is worth 32,000. So that is, uh, 
that's 48,000, about 49,000 rounded, right? Well, if I refine this, I lose 40, I, I lose about 45,000. So, at the end of the day, I'm going to get a product that <laughs> isn't going to be worth 45,000 at all, okay? And, th and so, let's take, what, 3.7 million? Divide it by 45,000. So, how many new players lost 30 minutes of their time? 83. 83 hours gone from new players. 83 hours wasted. All right, and this is just a small, small chunk. This is a very small chunk of what this station makes, okay? Uh, because I guarantee you, they constantly collect this probably four to six to eight times a day. And uh, yeah, it's raking in money because new players don't know anywhere. Now, if we go next door, there's one for 280. If we go all the way down here, there's one for 265. Right, let's just go to the one that's 280. Uh, Lady Cleo, you know, the fortune teller commercials from back in the day. How much would Lady Cleo charge? 1,257. Look at that. So we go from 45,000, and we're going to divide that by 1,250. Why not? That's 36 times the discount, right? 36 times cheaper. <laughs> so it, it's, it's wild how big of a difference it is. And let's see how much money that this would make, all right? So we're going to take... 32 and 16k, and I, I'm, I'm gonna check the bonuses real quick. Fire st potion day! Ooh, potion day! Look who's the little potion grafter! I am! Ding, 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 ding! Alright, so that's a good day for my character. Now let's go ahead and craft this and see how much money we would make doing this. Now we lose 1,200 silver, but how much do we gain by refining the stone blocks? Probably not much, because stone is just going crazy right now. Stone is a, is a wild, it's a wild man market. Okay, another 464, so we're about 1,007, 1,800 in the hole. But we're not 45,000 in the hole, 169. We'll say, two, we'll say 2,000, we spent 2,000 refining. Let's just say that, round it up, why not? You know, include the taxes, sure. How much did we make? 74,000. So we lost 2,000, so that would be 71,000. And so what I just did here with refining, we made about 30,000 silver, which is pretty nice. Not bad. Not bad. You know? So pretty good, right? But, you know, if, if we refined here, we would have just burned through money and made nothing. We would have made a couple mob drops worth of silver. And then this guy uh, with <laughs> system built by Danks. Danks is the owner who owns <laughs> who owns the character name System. Danks, okay, we all know who the the cartel is. You know, you got bag. You know, just just look at the like the names that you see every time in every city, right? Uh, e Eva Raider's always around. Uh, oh, look, another System. Look at that. I bet it's also built by Danks. Why don't we go check? There's MSSJ. Look, MSSJ probably the cartel leader. Prob probably. He's the most social one. He's he's kind of like the mafia leader, right? He built it. He owns it. See, he's got it up there too. Nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine on refining, and it, and uh, let's look at the other ones. Nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Nine thousand seven hundred ninety-nine. Oh, you get a little discount. Ooh, right. Nine thousand. Oh, that's system. There's system again. Look, they're all in the nine thousands. If you wanted to, if you wanted to tan hides in Bridgewatch, which you would do at a loss. You should go to, you know, Martlock to tan hides. Well, let's look at Martlock. How is Martlock doing on hide tanning? Look at that, 370. Hmm. Hmm. 9,999. You know, these are on the 300s. So that's a reasonable price. But at the end of the day, after this update, th they can cap it at 1,000. MSSJ and all his little cartel cronies, that's it. That's all they get is 1,000. So they're losing 90% of their profits. Let's just look and see how much MSSJ is raked in on his little system, you know, on, on his little bench here. And you can you can do this yourself by clicking the portrait and then going to administration. Look, he's got 584,000, okay? So he's probably cleaned it out pretty recently. He's a very active guy. He's a very busy businessman, you know? He gets around. What about this one? This one's 9,999. How much is how much has he made? Now, not a lot of new players are doing crafting stations. Most of them are doing refining though. Like, they feel like they have to do refining. Alright, 55,000. Also, you can go to access rights, you can see who all their friends are. Look at all their friends. But what about System? Let's see who System is friends with. System's alt characters, so to speak. Because, uh, you, you, this is the scummiest thing that you can do to a new player. 
And I'm all about scumming players. I'm all about trolling and griefing. So I'm not entirely against what he's doing. But to access rights, it's set to public. This guy, this guy knows how to hide it. Access rights log. You can't see it because, well, I don't have access. So system is okay at hiding it, but we all know at the end of the day, this building was built by Danks, so there you go. Uh, Danks is to blame, even though if he just sold it to system. But uh, yeah, so what do you guys think about this change? I think it's good. Dude, I've had so many people in my comments over the years be like, well, I used a repair bench that was down here and, you know, I lost all my money. Why are repairs so expensive? It's like, bro, this is the only repair bench you should be using. This one right here for zero. <laughs> Oh, man. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you so much for that $20 donut at the start, even though that was a Baldur's Gate viewer. It would be cool if you Albion bros would be just as neat. I put out a members-only video just the other day for Albion Online, and it is about the best crafts and flips. It is, it is my, it's my crafting master index list, okay? It is, uh, it's not something I was, uh, that I would normally even release to members, so if that interests you, if you want to know all the best things you can craft, all the best things you can flip, without having to do mountains of math and months of math and months of experience, I did it for you. So check that video out. And um, this Ally Bro giveaway guy, he's using a macro to hump this wall, by the way. So uh, they, they won't ban him because he's like a Twitch partner or something. But uh, it's still kind of stupid that he can multi-box two clients that automatically hump, uh, you know, like the side of the wall so he doesn't get AFK kicked. And nothing is done about it. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you so much. Mwah. And leave a like, leave a comment, because the cartel and the cartel's cronies will be downvoting this video. And uh, on the right side of your screen is video you should absolutely click. And if you don't click it, the next time you go eat at a breakfast cafe and you order sausage, they're going to give you bacon instead.